Welcome back, guys. Today we're going for a test drive in a 1967 Camaro. This one here has got a Jasper 350 under the hood. Nice quiet motor, power steering. We'll be taking her down the road, pointing out any kind of flaws. You know exactly what you're buying when you get here. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I post cars daily. You can also see all of our current inventory that is available at maplemotors.com. If you see stuff in the background like most of y'all normally do, and it's not on the website, that means it's either sold or not available. I do have finance and shipping available. Wheels, tires, parts, and accessories at that website. And if you like the music, subscribe to Southgate Production. I'll link it to the end of the video. For now, we're gonna take this thing down the road, see how it runs and drives. Also got a walk around video pointing out any kind of flaws on the paint. It's about that time. Let's go full ride. Before we take off, I like to look around the interiors, kind of check everything out. This one's got a nice shifter, nice carpet. Interior is red, it looks great. I love red interior. Package tray is nice and clean. Same with the headliner. Go ahead and start her up. Starts up nice and easy. Our temp gauge does not read exactly correct. I noticed that as uh, soon as I started the car earlier, never started, you know, since two or three days now. And the temperature gauge was automatically sitting at 160. I know it's not correct. I've already checked it with a laser. Our oil pressure is right around 40. It looks like it's moving around. And the battery gauge is not hooked up. Blower motor on this one. Is not working. Radio. Radio is working. Gas gauge. It's about halfway. We'll watch it and see if it's floating around. And I can show you the mileage. I can't stand behind this mileage. Because this is a 67 model. Wipers? Work. Horn? Did you place your bets? No horn on this one. Let's take off down the road and see how she runs and drives. Okay, so we're getting ready to take off down the road. Um, no seat belts in this car. We'll see how she uh, rides out here. Nice cam. Sure. Anything I see that this car may need, I will let you know. trust that temp gauge at a cold start it was showing 160 I'd have to get it changed out I think something's wrong with it it really hasn't even moved since we left the lot and it should have especially driving down the road it's like 30 degrees outside plus we got lasers at the lot 
you can shine on the thermostat and see what it actually is. We're gonna pull over in this parking lot right here. And we'll get some outside shots. I'm also gonna lay the camera down. We're gonna drive over it, check the undercarriage. And if you wanna see what I use to make these videos, look below in the description. I have Amazon links to everything. Okay guys, let's get these shots. Good deal. Been circling around this parking lot, about to head back to the lot now. Uh, temp gauge has not moved. Oil pressure's right around 35, 40. Didn't notice the car was pretty low. I was worried about hitting my camera, but it wasn't that low, so we're all good there. This cam. Yeah. Definitely got some higher gears. Jump up on the interstate. Get to cruising with this one. strike my camera up here sorry about that guys just got that real slight pull to the left and it could be a tire pressure issue I noticed it didn't look a hundred percent full coming up on that road with a speed bump in it we'll hit it at a moderate speed kind of give you an idea on suspension it actually feels comfortable riding down the road speed bumps coming up right here 
little bit of a rub in the front and it was stiff in the back. If I was to give it a rating, I'd say five out of 10. This car has been lowered. Okay, guys, we're gonna pull on in here. This is Brian's Motorsports. I want you to check them out. Check out Brian'sMotorsports.com. They do upgrades on wheels, tires, Jeeps, interiors, stereo systems, custom consoles, uh, pretty much anything you could think of. Exotic cars, classic cars, trucks. I mean, you name it, you take it to him. Tell him what you want. He makes it happen. You could buy a car from us. Come down here, get custom wheels put on it or any of the list uh, name above. Plus he's got his own barber shop. How cool is that? <laughs> yeah, I'll get over here and show you. That is at Brian's Motorsports on Facebook, Instagram, or brianswotersports.com it's worth checking out heading on back to the lot walking distance from brian's so if you do make it down here and you want to you know check his place out too because he's always got some crazy cars down here in the parking lot or inside his showroom you can literally walk past all this awesome stuff like shipley's donuts or the red rooster where i go eat lunch all the time or if you come late Maybe join us for a beer at Main Street Pub. These people don't even know that I shout their stuff out, I bet. <laughs> Brian does. He's seen them before. I hope y'all enjoyed this test drive. If you did, hit subscribe. Thanks for sharing my videos. That helps us out greatly. It's very generous of y'all. And I'm going to get that Corvette out next. Oh, chrome bumper car. Let's see how it runs and drives. Thanks for joining me, guys. Y'all have a good one. If you do have any other questions, jump on over to maplemotors.com. I have close to 100 detailed pictures, wheels, tires, parts, and accessories. And of course, every car on the car lot gets a test drive. At least I try to get them all. So be sure to jump on YouTube here if you see something you like. All you have to do is type in the year, the model, and Maple Motors. Still can't find it? Check this out. You can type in hashtag 944, which is a stock number, and it'll pop up. Just always include Maple Motors. Good deal. Like I said, Stingray's next. Let's get it. <laughs>